Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Wednesday, November the 22nd. The year is 2023. Let's talk trading. Crucial mistakes. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Crucial mistakes. Um, yesterday's video, I talked about how I trade. And I think I mentioned probably more than once I use statistics in my trading. Now, what that means is I do a lot of analysis on the movement of price. Basically, um, what's the range of a candle? You know, how far does it go from high to open and from open to low? And then how far does it go from high to close? And then from, you know, low to close. And I, I track these things. I use them in my trading. Or like with the pivot points. You know, how often does a pivot point get missed? How many times does it get missed in a row? And how often does, you know, does that occur? And so I've done all this work. So when I sit down to trade... I, I used to say this a lot. Trade what you see, not what you think. Because one, you usually can't think fast enough. Number two, you can't think complete enough. See, you're thinking your analysis is done before you trade. So when you sit down to trade, a crucial mistake that you make is that you're still thinking. You're still doing all this analysis. When really all you have to do is recognize what your analysis has told you to look for. You don't have to redo the analysis. So, for example, let's just take a look here. At the uh, daily open. In the buy zone. So, what does my analysis tell me? It says usually if price goes a certain distance away from the open, it's going to go another X number of pips. Or, I say usually it's going to go at least, um, say, 10 pips from the open in either direction. And as you can see here, that had ha that's happened now in this case you can see price went up you know at least 10 pips pulled back went up a little bit more and then plummeted went down 10 pips went down more came back almost hit the open came back down through the sell zone came back up through the sell zone crossed over hit the buy zone Came back down, tried it again, came back down through the short zone, and then you can see where we are right now. So, I pretty much have simple rules of thumb. Like I said, I don't want to trade against the M30 candle color now. I want to trade with it. And so, as you see price crisscrossing the open, and you see what happened here, it's like one, two, three on the fourth try, it failed. If it fails after third or fourth try, usually the market's trying to tell you something. Now, of course, if we were to go down to the one minute, I don't know how many times um, it's actually tried to break across. I mean, we can actually take a quick look here. But the point is, don't make the crucial mistake of reanalyzing. You've already done that. You know. You already know how far price <laughs> you already know how far price is going to move based on statistics. And for some strange reason, this is not wanting to shift over to M1. I'm not sure why. 
something's got the uh, locked up and so <laughs> I guess this shows you why I can't make live videos while I'm trading and then stream it <laughs> you know I just don't have the bandwidth so to continue it's a crucial mistake to start to analyze while you're trading so and you know if you've watched some of my older videos you know I talk about the trained monkey <laughs> that's what you have to be <laughs> when you trade um, so it's like prices going up to the line you buy Price comes down to the line, you sell. Price goes up to the line, you buy. Down to the line, you sell. And you just do that. Sometimes you get a little, sometimes you get a lot. <laughs> but the thing is, statistics are in her favor. When we do this trade, and so you can use M1 or maybe you're saying, you know, that's just too jerky for me. Let me try M5 instead. And so then maybe. Wow, something's not going right here. Every time I'm asking for a different time frame. It's logging me out and then logging me back in. But anyway, what you want to do, no matter what your method is, is you just want to follow your method. And I'm kicking myself. I had a short on, I think it was around 25, 35. <laughs> and I got out of that trade but that's okay i should have left it on but that's what i should have could have so you can see here at m5 it's it came down the line there was pips to be had came back up and so just a real simple method here trading across that daily open now on some days during this time period i might not get a daily open trade so i might have to look for something else a, a different trade so you wonder why i have all these different methods so right here maybe i'll look for an inside bar breakout You know, maybe I'm lucky enough to uh, look for a rat zone trade. See, we've got the ranges now large enough. So now, opportunity to look for a long. And so price is right at the 80 line. It actually had, didn't get quite get down to the 75 psychological. I might take a peek here and say, okay, bias is long near S1 while we <laughs> were through S1. It was near at this time and it went back up. And it was it crossed the pivot here and it made a nice move up to the 40s. So right now we've got H4 red. Don't like trading against H4 either. You can see here on the pivot we took out the daily. We're heading towards the weekly. We've already taken out the monthly. And as far as H4 goes we missed it. But I think I might have mentioned <laughs> these 
H4 pivots that get get missed like you can see here you have like two misses in a day it usually takes a couple days and then price will start head heading back toward those and that's an observation I've made um, once again different methods if you're not near the open um, you can then start trading maybe the wick zone breaking through previous days high or breaking through the previous day's low trading that wick zone right there that was worth over uh, 12 pips just in the last few few minutes so when you see these methods that I present or other people present you know if they've done the work whether it's statistical uh, analysis whether it's you know uh, technical analysis if they think that they've got an edge and you believe there's an edge then all you have to do is trade it but the thing is it's not going to work every time and that's what you have to understand and in fact I uh, came across an old Mark Douglas video and this is what prompted me he was talking about how you just have to take the trade and if you lose not to attach anything to it because you've already determined the risk ahead of time so if you go to a slot machine you know at a casino I don't know where you live we've we've got the video poker machines here we've got Indian or Native American casinos here um, you can go in and you can gamble you put your money in and you when you do that you've accepted the risk you push the button or pull the handle roll the dice or you know get dealt the cards and then either you win or lose and probably you don't get too upset really but you know you're in a game when you know you're playing a game where you know the house has the odds in their favor but for some strange reason people will go in and they will play those games but here in trading we actually have a chance <clears throat> to be the casino in fact I even I think I wrote an indicator I forget what it was called but it was something like that casino I, I don't remember you'd have to go back and look at some of my older videos or older posts somewhere um, and so if you have a method like like this method here um, the wick zone and you know you basic that price is going to close outside that a wick zone 73 percent of the time I mean you, you just almost kind of have to take the trade um, here we're trading with the um, h1 candle color so it comes in here you put a short on here if it comes in here and starts coming this way you put a long on same thing here a long here a short here um, sometimes you make a just a few pips sometimes you make a bunch a whole bunch and remember I spoke I used to like that previous midpoint well here you go there's the previous day's midpoint see all the price action around that it's kind of interesting isn't it anyway you know the main point of this video is when you're trading don't be analyzing what you all all you want to do is you want to look for certain things certain triggers or certain flags that either tell you to take the trade or not to take the trade so you know we say look left if you see congestion maybe you take the trade maybe you don't but a lot of times what you want to do is you just want to take the trade based on some simple criteria that you have and in my case how I trade its price at a line I trade with the candle color I just pull the trigger and see what happens so fellow traders always remember and never forget it's not what you trade it's how you trade it 
So go out there and drain the banks. And for those of you who celebrate, have a happy Thanksgiving. Rumpled one.